So what's in the box? First of all, we have our UV light. Before we use it, we'll slide out the tray and take off the pink film, which is protecting it. To turn on, just push forward on the top and the lights will come on. To turn off, put it back to the middle. You get a clamp. To open the clamp, just push in the corner and it will slide. You'll notice a recess here. This is where your artwork will sit with your gel pack on top. And you'll put that so that you can read the word uh, image pack. You'll put the lid on, it's magnetic, and you'll push down. Okay? Um, if you're making a small stamp, so with the small pack, you will use the mask and we'll just put that into our clamp and then the polymer pack, the gel pack, will go on top. The reason we do this is to stop any light reflection around the edge coming in and making our uh, image overexposed. So you'll see that we had some sample artwork included in the pack. Um, you'll notice that the butterfly here is uh, white. Okay. When you're making a stamp, your artwork needs to be inverted. So this is what we call a negative. The light, the UV light, will go through the clear part here to harden the gel underneath and make the stamp. The black needs to stop the light and the gel there will get washed away. We'll talk later about how to make sure this is as black as it can be. What else do we get? We get uh, a brush to wash our stamp after we've made it. Then we get a tray. The stamp will go in here with a little bit of water and it will go back under the light to harden okay, once we've made it. We also get some film, some image black inkjet film. This is to print our own negatives because you know you have the kit so you can make stamps of your own artwork and this has three sheets of film and we'll show you how to use that. You get some printed instructions okay on making a stamp you also get them on the cd and on the cd you have lots of other advice um, you get some free artwork you get an artwork um, software program to help make your negatives you get some health and safety information um, so do take a look at that lots of useful information of course you get your gel packs, so we've got four medium image pack gel packs and six small. Now these do harden under the light, so keep them in their bag, in their box, out of the light until you are ready to use them, otherwise they will go hard and you won't be able to use them. Finally, you get... Um, some information on how to contact us. So if you have any questions at all about your kit, um, or you know if you make a stamp and you're not sure, then do contact us and we'll be happy to help. So we need to make a negative of our artwork. You could use Microsoft Word if you're doing a text stamp and just uh, write, write in white font on a black background. You could use Photoshop, Coral Draw, um, or you can use our software program, the Image Pack software program, and you'll find the address to this in your instructions, and you can use it with a Mac or a PC. The first thing we're going to do is choose the size of polymer pack that we want to make a stamp with. So here I'm going to choose medium and it tells us there the size that that will be. So click medium and a rectangle 
appears in the middle of the screen. I now need to import my image if it's uh, an image that I want to make a stamp from and I'm going to make a stamp from this picture. I'm going to click auto fit and that makes it fit the rectangle on the screen. Now if I want to change the size I can click resize over here on the right and that tells me the dimensions of my image and I can reduce those if I want to. I can't make them any bigger at the moment because it's already at the maximum size for my um, image pack. So I'm just going to cancel that because I want to keep it the same size. If I had a photo I can use the crop button here to uh, crop the photo. I could make a negative as it is um, or I could import another image um, to put somewhere else if I had space or I can insert some text for example if it's somebody's birthday I could just write happy birthday here and let's put happy birthday Tom for example I can change the font and I can choose the size of the font that I want and I go with a a larger one because um, that will show up more. If I want it bold I can click here, italics I would click here. If I want it underlined I click here and if I want the text left centered or to the right then I click there. I can preview that to see what it will look like and that looks fine so I click OK and I have Happy birthday, Tom, which I can just fit in at the top there. And you'll see that a second layer has appeared here on the right. If I decide I don't like that happy birthday, Tom, I could just click here and remove it. Okay, and I'm left just with the image. I can insert a box and it will ask me uh, you know, how big I want my box. And again, I can move that around. What do so I can just move the box and I could put it here if I wanted to and then type some text in there. Um, but I don't want a box today so I'm going to remove that. Oh, I picked up my image. Put that back down there. Now I want to make my negative. Before I can do that I need to merge and that will merge any layers that I have. If I had a photograph, I would click photo and that would put uh, a filter on the photo to give a better negative. I have a drawing, so I'm just going to click convert. I can adjust the brightness and contrast if I want to make the, uh, the white stand out more, for example. But I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click OK. And there's my negative. Now I need to print. And I print again. And I'm going to use the HP 2050, which is an economical uh, printer, copier, scanner. But before I print, I'm going to go into the preferences and my paper, and I'm going to choose the option of specialty paper. Now, if this was the first time I was using this printer, I would probably, before I got to this stage, I would print a negative, sorry, a negative, I would print a small black square with each of these different options, hold them to the light and just check which one is blackest. And I would then use the blackest one to make my negative because we need it to be black enough to stop light. So I'm going to click specialty paper and OK. Now I just need to find my printer and then we can make our negative. So to find out which side of the film to print on, I'm just going to wet my finger and touch the corner and that's the sticky side, that's the side that we want uh, the ink to go on. So I'm just going to put that in the printer and press print because we've already set up the options. And there's our negative. 
So I've cut my negative out of the sheet of film. I'm going to open the clamp by pushing the corner. I'll put my negative inside and get one of my image packs out. I'm going to use the medium size and I'm going to place that on top so that the word image pack can be read. Okay? That means the soft part of the pack is face down. Then I just want to position it over the negative and press down. Now this is going to go under the lights. I've warmed my lights up. They've been on for about a minute. The first exposure time is six seconds. So I'm just going to count that and then I'm going to flip the clamp over for a hundred seconds. One minute forty. So I'm just going to keep hold of this for six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take it out, turn it over for a hundred seconds. So I've got my timer already prepared. Okay, so our timer has gone off. Turn our light off and open our clamp. There's our stamp inside the pack. We're going to cut open. Now, normally you would do this over the bin or the, the trash can. Um, I just want to do it here so you can see clearly what I'm doing. I'm just cutting around the edge, just inside the seal. Just opening the pack. Now, one of these layers will peel off easily, and we'll put that in the trash. Now, normally I would go to the sink and do this, it would be much easier, um, but I've got a little bowl of warm water here. Okay? I'm just going to put some washing up liquid, dish soap on there, and we'll take my brush and this is warm water and I'm just going to brush away all that liquid that's left and we want to make sure we brush all the liquid away because if not when it goes back under the lights after this that will continue to harden now the first six second exposure unit that we did made the base for our stamp and the hundred seconds made the image, the relief. Okay. So you can see this bowl isn't really big enough but we'll make do. So I'm just going to rinse that off there. So there's our, our stamp of the girl and the dog. And we're now going to put this in the post exposure tray, which is actually one of these, and it will go back under the lights for two minutes to harden and finish off. This will also help to make it dry on top. So we'll put it under there for two minutes. Okay, two minutes is up. We'll turn the light off. Now you'll notice that the stamp has gone a, a paler colour. It's no longer the, the bright uh, pinky colour. Um, it will go back to a pinky colour with time, uh, within a couple of hours. If you want it to keep uh, clear, then just keep it under the lights for another, another minute or so um, in the water at this stage. Okay, so I'm just going to trim around the edge, just to... And our stamp is basically ready now. So, you know, it's less than five minutes. And now, these stamps don't have a sticky back, 
Okay, so we do need to use something to help them stick to an acrylic block. We have a, a cling film which basically just goes onto your block and uh, when your stamp is dry, it doesn't stick when it's wet, when it's dry the stamp will stick onto that uh, cling. And then we'll just get some ink and we'll stamp it up. Okay, so I'm just going to ink up the stamp. Just using black ink.